New York had been a slave state. Uh, they debated about getting rid of slavery back in like 1790s. But really, freedom wasn't really uh, complete until the mid 1820s. And Seneca Village was founded in that early period of, of black uh, emancipation in New York City. And it lasted for about 30 years. Uh, it grew to a population of about 250 plus people with about 50 plus properties. There was a cholera outbreak. They thought cholera was passed through water and all that. So I can think of those early settlers coming up maybe to bury or come to church in the area, realizing, oh, this is a better place to live. Distant from the hostile population. It had a water source. It was near the Hudson River. So I think you can see in that 20 year period, period, really rapid growth. But when the city decided this area was going to be set aside for Central Park, the residents that were here had to move. And so Seneca Village was probably the largest single community, but there were other people, about 1,500 people altogether, that had to move from sites that were that com compromised uh, Central Park. It was a sizable community uh, here that was being displaced. And I think all of those aspects, distance, uh, the topography, its association in proximity to the Hudson River, sort of made it's kind of a vibrant uh, community in ways that you didn't see in lower Manhattan.